Now the Lowestoft Roadworks are making a name for themselves on the internet. Gary Kettles and Jeff Rowell have written a song and made a video all about the Lowestoft Roadworks. It's called The Jewel of the East. I went down to Lowestoft, driving in my car. The trouble was, when I got there, I didn't get very far. I thought I'd go to Lowestoft and look upon the view. But all I did was sit in my car and wait in a long queue. Lowestoft, Lowestoft, the jewel of the East. But if you try to drive through there, it turns into a beast. <laughs> Each time I drive through Lowestoft, my anger turns to tears. Those faceless twits in charge of roads have realised all my fears. A two-year round of bottlenecks and long diversions has turned us all to shivering wrecks with flaming tails and horns. Lowestoft, Lowestoft, the jewel of the East. But if you try to drive through there, it turns into a beast. That's well, they built a big new road through town to help the traffic flow. Lot to try to use it, <laughs> you'll wonder where to go. Cause when you get to Belvedere Road, much to your surprise, you'll find the same old bascule bridge right before your eyes. <laughs> low stop, low stop, the jewel of the east. But if you try to drive through there, it turns into a beast. Well, to add to all the troubles there, they've altered Station Square and London Road down the front, in fact most everywhere. So when you go to Lowestoft, take in the sea air, be sure to take your car with you, if you bloody well dare. Lowestoft, the Lowestoft, the jewel of the east, but if you try to drive through there, it turns into a beast. Lowestoft, Lowestoft, the jewel of the east, but when you try to drive through there, it turns into a beast. Now, we were tipped off about this by one of our BBC Radio Suffolk Breakfast Show listeners who emailed me saying, you've got to have a look at this. Brian, thank you very much indeed for that. The two men behind it are Gary Kettles. He made the video that goes along with that, which is very Python-esque. And Jeff Rowell, who's the songwriter, and Jeff's on the line to us now from his home in Lowestoft. Good morning, Jeff. Hello, how Tell are you? smiling since we saw and heard it yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Uh, bit of fun. Um, Certainly is. Uh, bit of frustration behind it for you? Well, not, well, in a way, yes. Put it this way, I live 200 yards from the bridge, and every morning when I have to take my son to school, it takes me 15 minutes to get that 200 yards over the bridge. So, therefore, I did get rather frustrated, yes. Mm. And, and now it's the other way. You can get over the bridge, you can't get back. And I, I watched them building all this, and I thought to myself, well, they built the whole of the new road and all the rest of it before they even touched the middle of the town, so they built it into a terrible bottleneck, which made it even worse. And before they started building it, I saw the plans, because I was affected where I live, and they said it would be much better for you. There would be no traffic at all in London Road South. It'd be wonderful for you, we're going to put trees, we're going to do this, and in the event, they hadn't done anything here because they ran out of money, and it's just a mess. It's terrible. Even the way they've actually marked the road out, they've marked it out showing, there's an arrow out, two arrows outside my house, the offside one shows a right-hand turn, the near-hand one shows a straight-on and a left-hand turn. Well, people who come here think, oh, straight-on, fine, I can go straight-on, because when they get down there, and they want to turn to the right to go straight on. People who have been waiting for three quarters of an hour in the traffic jam feel like getting out and punching them in the face for trying to push in. It's, it's, it's yeah. unbelievable. It's just a mess. Uh, there's there's more to come them. as well, isn't there? There's a lot more roadwork still to come in the town. Oh, yes. They're nowhere near finished. It's, it's everywhere. You, I mean, it's like lower stuff is roadwork heaven. Mm. And I feel sorry for people trying to earn a living. I have mean, you put, have you put things like this together before? Have you, are, you, are you a songwriter? I'm not a songwriter as such. I actually um, write what they call ambient music. Music. I used to live in Australia. I'm not uh, uh, known in this country particularly, but all over the rest of the world you can buy my music anywhere you like. It's all available on downloads and God knows what mm. on Yahoo and you know from uh, uh, major people. I do television 
uh, bits and pieces as well. It's, yeah, but songs as such, no, it's not my thing. It's more music, music. Well, I'll tell you what it might be after this. We might try and uh, uh, cajole you into doing the odd one or two about other issues in the county because this certainly has been getting quite a few hits on YouTube. But the yes, song is very catchy and, and the video that goes with it, very Python-esque. Yeah, we've got a new one, actually, that I did called... <laughs> they're taking a picture of you about all the, uh, all the cameras. <laughs> Oh, right, OK. Which, we, which Gary hasn't finished the video for yet, so it's not on there. And there are a couple of others we've done in the past. But it is good fun, and yes, I actually love them. writing songs, because if you get the right thing to write about, it, it's easy, you know, you just put down your, what's in your mind, and mm. off you go. Well, this is obviously said with great feeling, as we've been hearing this morning. <laughs> well, me and a banjo, I, I don't call great feeling, but... Uh, it's lovely to say so. Thank you very much. Well, what about the comments? You've had some quite supportive ones, I noticed, on the website. Yes, yes, lots of people. And, and believe it or not, I know this sounds ridiculous, but people have been stopping me in the street who recognise me from it and telling me what they agree and how wonderful it is. It's quite right, everything we think. It's, it's, it's a very eerie thing. You go down to the shops and somebody will come yeah. and tell them and say, the you know the right. it's a song, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> well, we did invite the Waveney Sunrise scheme onto the program today to uh, to answer some of your uh, comments and uh, criticisms from the song and from our chat. They decided they didn't want to join us this morning. Maybe, maybe right now, Jeff, they are composing their own little song well, and video in reply. Yeah, I suspect be... not, but you never know. <laughs> well, all I can say to that is there seems to be, from what I've seen from my observations, a lady who's in charge of a lot of this, who wanders around with a yellow uh, Bob the Builder hat on and a little dog on the lead. If yep. somebody could get hold of her and find out what the hell she thinks she's doing, it would be wonderful. OK, I'm sure this is not the last we've heard of it. Jeff, lovely <laughs> to talk to you. Thanks ever so much. Um, thank my you very much for joining us on Give BBC Radio. To Gary when you speak to him. I will do. Yes, we were trying to get hold of Gary down under, but we can't get hold of him because of the problem with the phone at the yeah, moment. It's not that easy. He but, actually so. used to live next, next door to me. Oh, right. And he is a Lowestoft born and bred boy. He born, was born here, he grew up here, and uh, he decided he'd like to have a look at somewhere else, but he, you know, he still loves Lowestoft more than anywhere. Well, he's and, down in New Zealand. He, he's yeah. put the video together, hasn't he? Yes, he's brilliant at it. Vi Gary and his videos are just phenomenal. There's another song, if you go on YouTube, uh, about Lowestoft, the, the original one we did, which is just fun. It's about fish and chips and one thing, and the video on that, it's phenomenal. Okay, I, phenomenal. I feel a little series coming on. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you whatever. very much for joining us. That's a great pleasure. It's lovely to speak to you. Yeah. Thank you ever so much. Uh, it's a pleasure, Jeff uh, from Lowestoft, along with his uh, friend Gary, put together the Jewel of the East. You'll be humming this all day.